We have uh, some ex trial experience, uh, patients treated with nivolumab and ipilimumab in combination. Uh, that's the Checkmate uh, 69 and the Checkmate uh, 67 study. Um, here at uh, this conference we have presented a pooled analysis of uh, those patients. Four, more than 400 patients uh, went into this retrospective analysis. Um, analyzing patients who had to discontinue treatment because of toxicity. We know that the combination of NEVO and EP has a roughly 50% grade 3, 4 toxicities. 38% uh, of the patients had to discontinue a treatment because of drug-related um, adverse events. Um, and the other half of the patients did not discontinue treatment. They went on uh, getting uh, their treatment. And um, if one looks, um, patients who had to discontinue, this happened uh, within the first 8 to 12 weeks. So the question uh, emerged whether patients who had to discontinue treatment because of the toxicity, uh, whether they have also a clinical benefit in comparison to those patients who were able to continue treatment. And the fascinating results uh, which we are presenting um, today is that patients who had discontinued have an as good, possibly even better, uh, progression-free survival time uh, compared to patients uh, who continue treatment. Uh, it's too early um, uh, at the moment to, uh, to talk about overall survival benefit. Um, but uh, also response rate uh, seemed to be higher, almost 15% higher in the patient group. So possibly uh, patients who had uh, um, toxicity re related to NEVO and EP seem to be more sensitive, uh, more sensitive uh, producing autoimmunity, but also possibly that their tumors seem to be more sensitive to checkpoint blockade using this NEVO-EP combination. The clinical implication uh, of these data presented um, uh, are not clear at the moment. So on one hand, one could uh, speculate that you really uh, need only 12 weeks of treatment to get the maximum benefit of the, of the treatment. Whether this is really the case, question mark. Uh, one other interpretation could be that we are selecting patients who are uh, specifically immunosensitive uh, by, uh, by this way of treating patients, um, that patients who are creating this uh, early uh, autoimmunity, um, uh, this is some sort of a biomarker of uh, good responsiveness, and other patients who are not uh, as sensitive need longer treatment. I think this question will only be answered if we do a prospective randomized trial.